afternoon everybody welcome to another lunchtime food extravaganza unboxing video so I've got some mashed potato smash that's my carbohydrate I've got salad that my lovely wife has prepared for me we've got yellow pepper I'm not keen on yellow pepper spinach baby spinach celery i don't think there's anything else buried under there and then i've got a glass of apple juice and i've got a packet of pea shoot crisps and in my bag from this morning when i was at work this morning because i've not eaten it i've got an apple i've got a packet of oat cakes so that's my food let's get on to the unboxing or the unbagging so I've had this one for a few days and I've just been waiting for more stuff to do this is next day delivery by Hermes um, if I just move you down a minute so you can see there you go you can see that better now I know you can't see me a little I'm up here but at least you can see what I'm unboxing if I can just do that uh, there we are so I won't need that for the next one. So we've got in here some SIS goodies. I'm going to move you back up. There we are, back up. So we've got some sachets of 50 grams, which is 500 mils worth of um, SIS Go Energy in orange flavour. So on my last 100 mile bike ride last weekend when I was in mid Wales in the rain, um, I was using this, but out of, out of a tub, because I've got a big tub that I'm using up. I've nearly run out of um, active root. I've had this for quite a while, I'm using that up. So I've just got some sachets so I can take a, a sachet or two on longer rides. They'll last me five months. They weren't much, I think they were 75p each. Put that. This is all my stash of food behind. Helmet, Asioma box. Um, in here I've got. This is an Aldi box that the hike bars come in. So I've got a cliff bar, two sachets of active root, and I just use it for storing things in. Put my cliff bars. Got my active root sachets just behind there. We've got the SIS Go Energy, Active Root, Rego, and then the Vegan 20 protein powder behind. So that's what's up here. That's where that old that stash lives. And then my pump that I use on my bike lives there as well. And then in here I've got, if I can get it out. There we are. A new tub of Rego because I've nearly nearly run out of Rego. Um, there's another one of them. I must have bought six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's box one. Package two. Or package one. Okay, so this is um, the Alta Vita phone case. So they contacted me, they messaged me and said, Do I want to try one? So they gave me a 100% off voucher, which when I ordered one, I just had to pay the postage. So it was £2.50 postage, and they've sent me a free case to try. Now, so we've got that inside it, it's harder on the outside it's a full zip that's my velo pack one which is soft 
very similar size. In fact, if anything, the Alta Vita one is probably a fraction smaller. So we've got mesh at the top and bottom to hold the phone. Um, slots down there to put your cards in, etc. So I always carry a membership card from British Cycling with my membership number on, so that if anybody found me by the side of the road, they can figure out who I am. And then this isn't meant to work with my iPhone 6. It's meant to be for bigger phones, which it probably doesn't quite. I'm just fiddling trying to get it in. This isn't what I was hoping this package would be. So I was hoping this parcel would be some foam covers for the GoPro to help reduce wind noise because I've got one but it's not great. I've cut it up and I hold it on with an elastic band. Yeah, so that doesn't quite fit. I mean, it, it does, but it, it's going to drop out. So that doesn't fit my foam. But it does look like a good case. So I think what we'll do is we'll put that to one side and we'll figure out what we do with it. But it does look great. We might pass it on to somebody that can use it. So I'll come back to that in another vlog. The other thing I want to mention today is I used the GoPro in the last video, didn't I? I thought the footage looked rather good from the GoPro 6. I thought the sound was alright as well. I did like um, the vibration damping, that was very good. But, as you know, to put the GoPro onto the top of a tripod or something like that, you've got the adapter, these plastic adapters, with the little brass thread thing in the bottom and that screws onto the top and then you put the GoPro onto that. So this is the one that I bought not that long ago to replace the other one that broke because the plastic. The one that broke I've got temporarily patched together with a zip tie, a cable tie and a bit of pardon me, glue. This one's broken already. You can see there it's split. So what I've done is I've ordered one of those top cap mounts, the stem top cap mounts, and I'm going to, they've got a bolt hole for the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill out that bolt hole and tap it to the correct thread size for that, which is apparently, so tripod mount, the current truck common tripod mount thread size it's um, UNC quarter 20 so in other words it's an imperial thread size quarter 10 20 I've got a tap for that in the garage so when that turns up from China eventually when it comes I think I paid 75p for it um, I'm gonna modify one of these so I'm gonna finish eating my lunch that's it for this vlog now with the unboxing. Oh, it's not. I've got another package to open. I've forgotten about this one. Now, I think this is work-related. Work but let's just open it and see, just in case. So, sorry there's not been many vlogs this week, but I've been rather busy with one thing and another because I've had issues at work with computer stuff, and that's what this is. This is computer stuff for work and we've had problems with the house alarm so I've been dealing with those things so I'd had a piece of computer equipment at work that's 10 11 years old and it stopped working and of course everybody just wants to sell me a new one which are like £40,000 or something ridiculous it's a control unit for a million unit and um, ridiculously expensive um, so I took it apart and basically there was a blown capacitor on the motherboard. Ordered a capacitor, changed the capacitor, um, and it had blown the video card as well. So this is the old graphics card. So that's the graphics card that came out of it. And that graphic graphics card is bust. 
broken won't respond so and I've deduced that by putting a basic graphics card in so I can actually get the thing to turn on now and at least I can get data off it if I want to um, and I've ordered a second hand similar very similar graphics card so let's just open this package while I'm talking to you and then I'm going to finish eating my lunch and then this afternoon I'm going to go out on the bike and I'm going to do um, 90k this afternoon just over 50 miles and then tomorrow I'm going to go out on the bike and do 110k which is about 68 miles so the weather's been appalling this week in the UK lots of rain so I've just been on Zwift all week I've been doing um, what do you call them Zwift Academy workouts so that's all I've been up to this week so I've not got any footage so yeah that's that's the replacement graphics card I'm going to leave it in the bubble wrap I'm not going to open that because it protects it and I need to take that to work and stick the thing down and put that in and see if it'll work so I will see you in the next vlog which will be recorded this afternoon when I'm out in the bike so thank you for watching everybody as always thanks for all your comments thank you for liking the videos and thank you for subscribing see you later